Namaste. I'm Izichi Ade. This is the Golden Circle Movement Channel. Today, we're talking about Today we're talking about sending light, sending energy, using the third eye. We can call that distance healing, however you want to describe it. There are several guidelines, key factors that you want to keep in mind when sending energy across time and space. So I would say the key factor is familiarity. When you know someone, you have a connection with them, a spiritual cord. You've developed a spiritual cord over time. Uh, positive and negative aspects. Things that the person might do that might please you, things that the person might do to annoy you. All of these are part of the same spiritual cord. So, the reality is, whether someone is friend or foe, you can send energy directly to them using the spiritual cord, your connection to the individual over the quantum plane. So, to initiate, you simply visualize their face. See their face lighting up as they receive the light that you are transmitting. Then, of course, it is important to have an end point. Nothing lasts forever, so a good period is 10 minutes. If you're just beginning, one minute is sufficient, then two minutes, work your way up, but I would say 10 minutes is an average session. So, someone you do not know, but maybe they're a Facebook friend, Instagram friend, someone you've just uh, talked to for a bit, you know, had some type of rapport, but you don't actually physically know them. But you know their name. Maybe you know their city. You know their story to the degree that you two have discussed their story and likewise your story. So, uh, visualize that person as you perceive them. Maybe you know, you have their avatar, their, their profile picture, but you know their name. So, say their name mentally or physically. Uh, say their name and initiate the session. Now, for someone you don't know at all, all you know is their name and maybe a little of their condition. So, you send light to their name and their condition. In the case of uh, a friend of a friend, a family member of a family member. So, you will not have a connection with the afflicted person, but you do have a connection with the person who is asking you for light. So what you can do is focus on the individual that you do know and send light to them. Their spiritual cord connects them to the afflicted person and that will allow the afflicted person to receive light and substantial light due to the connection between them and the person who is connected. You and the person you are acquainted with, you know them, so uh, your sincere desire to send light to them is what will shine through. So these are different practices for sending energy, light, well wishes, uh, across time and space. Let's practice these efforts and leave your comments below on your results. Let me know how it worked out for you, sending light, energy, your thoughts, your prayers across these distances 
using these techniques. I'm Izichi Ade. This is the Golden Circle Movement Channel. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit the notification bell. So I will see you next session. Thank you for your participation in this Divine Light program. Thank you for helping to create paradise on earth. Namaste.